hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be a Zara haul. You guys gave me such great feedback on the last Zara haul video that I did. So I had to do another one for my curvy girl. So before we get into this video, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And not only will I be trying on, reviewing these items for fit and quality, I'll also be styling these pieces for you. So if that sounds good to you, hit that like button. Super excited to share with you guys, so keep on watching. So the first item is going to be this um, utilitarian, it's like, let's style, like military inspired crop shirt. As soon as I saw it, the color of course spoke to me. You guys know how much I love me some mustard. I also just love the cut. It's kind of like keeping in line with how my style has been going, especially for spring, um, for fall and winter, which is a little bit more like grungy, a little bit more tough. If you didn't see uh, my latest fall haul you know i was talking about how i'm i'm just loving more combat boots more like sweats and more of that kind of look and i feel like this ties into that theme beautifully this shirt is supposed to be oversized and it comes in a size extra extra large did you know that zara carries a size extra extra large they do in limited items but to me this shirt fits more of like a size 12 14 which is what their size extra extra large is geared to i've only like actually bought one item from zara that i felt was completely like <laughs> not true to size at all and it's the white dress from my first Zara haul so I just paired this how I would style it which is layered um it's on the model it looks very oversized on me it's supposed to sort of belt out more like this it has pockets these are real pockets very like military inspired I feel like the armholes are a little bit lower so if you are a true 14 12, 14, this will fit you very like oversized like it's supposed to. And I got it to dress up and pair like this, you know, with like, you could wear something like this with like a fitted bodycon and some combat boots or even some heels if that's what you like. Um, or you can wear it like I am super grunge. And I just, I, I mean, it's a perfect like third piece, just that extra element that you can add to your outfit and just add a pop of color. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is this a yay? Is this a nay? I'm kind of on the fence because um, it is a little bit on the pricier side. Quality wise, I'm going to give it like an eight and a half, nine. It's pretty great quality. The next item is going to be drum roll. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so corny. <laughs> but can you, like, could. Could you ever shop at Zara this year and not pick this item up? Like comment below, guess what you think I got? Because I feel like everybody who shopped at Zara this year got this item. Drop a comment right now. It is the shoulder bad, not shirt, but dress in today's case. So I've literally been seeing these shoulder pad shirts everywhere this summer. And one of the main reasons why I didn't grab them for myself is simply because like, I don't like highlighting my arms and I felt like this trend did that. And that's why I always say like follow trends with a grain of salt, but I figure for the fall and winter, I could layer with the shirt. Um, and also they have like sweatshirts in this style now as well, um, which I will talk about in my H&M haul that's coming very soon. I, um, so anyways, um, I didn't want to get wet. I figured I would lay like a really thin turtleneck underneath and this would totally work. So I grabbed one for you guys. This is a hundred percent cotton. It has the shoulder pad detail. And it's so funny how fashion comes right around because I remember in my early days here, I used to do a lot of thrifting and I remember always thrifting things from um, and having to go in and take out the shoulder pads and now shoulder pads are back like really <laughs> anyways i got this in a size large i don't know what i was thinking i and i seen this dress on a friend of mine so i'm like apprehensive to see what this is gonna fit like um and i think it's because they didn't have any other sizes um and it has a little bit of a sheen to it which i think after you wash it a couple of times it'll 
sort of like dissipate a little bit. So it is a little bit stiff. But let me know in the comments below if you have tried this shoulder pad trend yet and what your thoughts are about it. I should know this. I can't do a Zara haul without looking at their t-shirts. They always have like the cutest t-shirts. Oh my God. They had a bunch of really cute t-shirts like with super colorful, but I decided I wanted to go with something a little bit more monochromatic just because we're going to fall and winter. And I wanted it to be something that would, that would match with so much going on. It's just a picture of a girl, um, in black and white. And again, it will just, pair seamlessly and easily with all of my fall things. Go to ways to pair t-shirts like this is to pair it with girlier pieces, frilly skirts, midi skirts. Um, and then also when I'm feeling like more grungy and on my tougher days, I pair it with sweatpants and a pair of combat boots. So you can really do a lot with um, neutral colored t-shirts like this. I got this in a size extra large. Quality wise, I'd give it a seven and a half Eight, it's not the absolute best quality, but it's also 100% cotton, which is great. A lot of the times these t-shirts are not. Um, so maybe I just think I need to wash it for it to like soften up a little bit better. So the next item is another dress and it's a purple dress. You guys be hyping me up. Like I never, ever, ever, ever gave purple any thought, but um, a couple of times that I've worn purple here on YouTube and on Instagram, I've had so many people say how gorgeous the color is and how I should, you know, wear more purple, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm deciding to do that. I actually just picked up a lounge set from Amazon for such a good price um, that is purple and it's essentially a dupe for the um, Nordstrom lounge set that like sold out. Um, anyways, I'll put a link to that for you guys down below if you're interested. But I saw this um, slip dress and I was like, okay, let's see. Now this is made of more of like a slinkier type fabric, not a silky fabric. So it does have quite a bit of stretch to it. It has this little gathering detail around the bust and it does have adjustable straps. I'm really into rocking my slip dresses right now with combat boots. I really love that kind of like grungier style, but I love that this is like in a lavender color. So it's a little bit, has like a feminine touch, but you know, you could have a little bit more fun with it if you like. I got this in a size extra large. So the next item I have to share with you guys is going to be um, this shirt. I love a good animal print and this is a really oversized cut. It's kind of cut like a sweatshirt, but it is a blouse and I love pieces like this. This is actually a size small. It was like one of those pieces that was in their last chance sections. I'm pretty sure I can't link this and it was like $10. So I was like, <laughs> add to cart. And because of how oversized it was cut on the model, I knew there was a chance that it could fit. The hands are huge and very, very bellowy. So I knew there was a really strong chance this could fit me. It does fit. The only place where I really feel that you know, the sizing is what the sizing is, is in the neck um, area because it is, it does fit like a small around the neck. The good thing though, is that it has um, like a keyhole back. So I just plan on wearing it without buttoning up the keyhole and I will be fine. For $10, the quality is superb. It has some weight to it. Um, it has elastic Leaves, and then it has an elasticated bottom as well. Y'all, let's talk jeans because I've had like the worst luck with jeans, I feel like lately. And I think it's because I'm always playing myself, right? I really, really want that mom sort of like parachute style. Is it parachute? I don't think it's parachute. There's another name that they use for it, style jeans. And I've just been looking everywhere to see if I could just like squeeze into a pair, okay, somewhere, somehow. And I got this pair, it's a classic mom fit jean and just, this has zero stretch, y'all. <laughs> it has a zero stretch. Ooh, Lord, child, okay. So I got this in a size US 14. Um. It says 46, apparently. It says 46 on one side and US 14 on another side. 
Um, so I don't know what I was thinking, but we shall see. And this is probably one of the more expensive pieces in the haul, and I could see why, because the quality is superb. It's that really thick cotton fabric, um, that like the old school kind of jeans. It also per is perfectly distressed in certain areas and, and spots. So I feel like this is really a great pair of jeans and I'm trying not to discourage myself. We shall see what the fit looks like. Okay, we shall see over there. Hmm. <laughs> now you know what it fits like. Um, I would say this is quite true to size. And so if you do wear like a 14, maybe a 16, you can squeeze into this. I love all the details on this. It has a Zara on the back and it's like all black and like embossed in, and says Zara. I love, 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 love details like that. Um, it has two-toned hardware. So the button is silver and says Zara and then like all the little thingies that they put by the pockets is in like a rose gold. That would be the only thing that I wouldn't like. It is 100% cotton, 100% cotton. The last item is going to be this animal print crossbody bag. I completely forgot to show it to you guys in the haul. And I love the fact that this bag is small, but it fits so much. You can fit all your wallet, your oversized iPhone. You can, And also, it's a two-way. So it has a flap in the front and a flap in the back. And you can put your sunglasses and your keys. Basically, everything you need to get out. These days, now that we're working from home, I really don't need to carry a big bag. And I love that this fits everything while still being chic. So when I'm not on YouTube, you can find me daily on Instagram where I share even more style tips and tricks, my current fashion finds for fall, and so much more. I'm gonna put a link to my Instagram down there for you guys. If you wanna catch me in real time, then the best place to send me a message is on Instagram. You can DM me, drop a comment over there, etc., etc. And if you enjoyed this video, got some styling tips, outfit ideas, and want more hauls just like this, all you have to do is subscribe now. Let me know in the comments down below what your top three fall fashion must-haves are. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.